Welcome to Seeds of Heritage part 7. In this video we're going to have a look at how to save seeds from the, the largest family. Uh, it's the Brassica family in the plant kingdom. And we're going to look at vegetable seed saving and we're going to in particular look at um, you know, like things like turnips, uh, cabbages. But what we're going to use as an example is actually kale. We have a lot of kale plants here. There's about a hundred here, and that's exactly how many you need to have the, you know, the genetic biodiversity for future generations. You need, with the brassica family, that many plants. We're going to now quickly go into the tunnel, and I'm, I have some plants that have actually grown quite big um, of the kale uh, species. So we're going to have a quick look. Now, what we have here is we have our. Uh, kale gone to seed and what you notice here is you only start saving seeds from them if some of them have started going yellow and um, preferably some actually already kind of going crispy dry um, and that's that shows that actually the seed is actually ready inside and as we're putting it into the bag it's actually going to ripen furthermore anyway so it's, it's not actually a problem at all And I noticed that I only have four plants here and I said that you need at least a hundred plants. But in this case, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix these kale seeds with other kale seeds that I'm going to produce next year. And I, as you saw, I have at least a hundred plants. So that way I'm still going to have the, the, the kind of biodiversity in the seed in future generations. And um, so let's just take this now and we're going to um, put it into the bag. So I'm just untying this bit of rope here first because uh, I had to kind of stake it up and tie it up now there's the root So we're now in the tunnel and the last thing we need to do is we need to leave them there maybe up to six weeks. Now if you are living in a dry climate or anything like that, then perhaps you can sun dry them outside. Um, now after that period, all you need to do is actually separate the seeds from the chaff and also the, the husks as well. And the easiest way to do it is actually letting them drop uh, where there's kind of a bit of wind and that kind of separates uh, the seeds from the chaff. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the clip and I'll see you next week.